everybody, it's me, Pluto. So, so some of the smarty Pluto Living University students, they, they've been asking me why we haven't done a math class. Well, because mom, because mom and math, that, that works about as well as mixing your red wine with your chocolate milk, okay? Let's just say she's no math magician. She, 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 she actually thinks that math stands for mental abuse to humans. <laughs> but, but, but I know my numbers. Four cookies are better than two, but two baths are better than four. So, so I told mom she could sit this one out and, and I would do some fun researches myself. I mean, frankly, her brain kind of melted over the last couple of days anyways. So, so here's, here's a question for you. Is pi a rational or irrational number? Okay, for sure it's an irrational number because it can't be written as a fraction. So, 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 so what do you get when you divide the circumference of the sun by its diameter? You get pi in the sky. <laughs> okay, th this, this one is kind of cool. It mixes geography and math. That there, there are 195 independent world lands. How many colors would you need to color in a map so that no two countries touch the same color? You need four colors, okay? Okay, here, th th these ones mix numbers with spelling. So did, did you know every odd number has the letter E in it? It's for sure true. Go ahead and give it a try. Or, or, or what? What is the only number that is spelled in alphabetical order? It's 40. And the only number that has the, that has the letters in reverse alphabetical order is the number one. Okay, so, so, so here's a good one for the lull in your next family Zoomer call. You, you could ask everybody, what is the only number in the English language that is spelled with the same number of letters as the number itself. It's the number four. Okay, okay, this one, this one I found and it's specifically, it's specifically fun for the France land and the Poutinevilles. So, so if, if you move every letter in the word yes, Y-E-S, if you move those letters 10 places backwards in the alphabet, you know, you, you know what it's gonna spell? It spells oui, as in, ben oui, c'est vrai. Okay, okay, here's a good one. What is a polygon? It's a parrot that flew away. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, a polygon, it's a flat, two-dimensional, closed shape with straight lines. So, so, so then what did the circle say when he lifted the curse from the polygon? Hexagon! Well, come on, that's way funner than saying you're a polygon with six straight sides and angles. <laughs> All right, okay. If you had six oranges in one hand and four apples in the other hand, what would you have? <laughs> you probably have really big hands. <laughs> okay, last one, last one. Did you know, did you know that there are 525,000 600 minutes in a year? Yep, and you and you just used up three and a half that you'll never get back. <laughs> okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed my math class. Have a fantastic weekend and be good to each other. We'll see you soon.